So I'm now going to introduce you to this idea of branching. Branching is really important because it allows us to have control and to have iteration. So that means we can have if statements and we can have loops within our, within our assembly language code. So let's have a look at how this works in practice. And we're going to start by um, taking taking some values and storing them to start with. So let's let's do move r1 um, hashtag 10. So we're basically storing the value 10 into register 1. And then we're going to use this CMP. So CMP stands for compare. So we're going to compare two values. So we're going to compare the value that's stored in register 1 with the value 10. Okay, so we know that the value stored in R1 is 10. So when we compare them, it'll compare them and tell us that basically that they're equal. And then we can use a variety of branching operations here. So first of all, we're going to have a look at uh, BNE. So that means branch if the two values are not equal. So the, it says branch not equal, and we're going to branch to a label. So we're going to put a label here, and we're going to call that else. And you can give it any label that you like. The reasons why I've called it else will, will become clearer clearer shortly. And I'm going to going to do another another command here. So r3 uh, hashtag 20. But basically, that's going to move the value 20 into register 3. And then I'm going to put the label else here with a, with a colon. And then my program is going to going to halt. So let's just take take through some of those latter lines of code. So the third line, it's saying branch to else if the value in R1 is not equal to 10. So then you jump straight to else without executing or running line, line 4 here. So what we've created here is a basic if statement. With just an if clause and however if the values are equal then you don't branch and you do go on to line four and then the program halts so if the values are equal then then um, you do you execute line four if they're not equal then you don't so let's have a look at that in operation. So we're going to submit that code and we're going to apply now. So we'll run it through. So yeah, as expected, we move value 10 into register 1. So that, that's, that's giving us that. The next step, we compare the values. And you'll notice also these status bits have changed. And I'm not going to go through those status bits. It's quite, it's quite a long-winded explanation for that. But you can look at the documentation. If you click on the bottom here, you go to documentation and it's all, and it's all explained there. And then we're going to do the branching and because the values are equal then of course it's not going to branch and then it's going to execute line 4 so it's going to move the value 20 into register 3 which is what it's done and then our program then halts okay so that's our first most basic kind of um, branching and that's created an, an if clause for us. We can have different conditions under which we want to branch. So we've got branching if our two values after we do the comparison are not equal, but we can also branch, for example, if they are equal. And if that's the case, then we do EQ. So in this case, if the two values are equal, then we branch to our label else. And we don't execute line four. So let's assemble that code and uh, go through it. So let's see what happens. So now, when our values are equal, because they are equal, then it's going to branch, and therefore, line four is not going to get executed. The operation there is not going to get executed. There are other conditional branching operations as well. So we can have branch if greater than, so BGT, or we can have branch if less than. I'm not going to run those through, but those are the additional conditional branching operations that we have. 